Hey guys, so one of the common questions that we get after we install a radon mitigation system is how do I now test my sump pump? Uh, so as part of the mitigation system, if you do have a sump pump and a sump crock, uh, what we have to do is we're required to place a cover over that. Uh, and what that does is that prevents any of the suction of air um, from the radon mitigation system from pulling air from your conditioned space uh, in the house above. So it, what that does then is it blocks access or easy access to your sump pump, uh, which is why we get the question a lot of how do we test it? Well, what we do in all of our installs is on your sump cover, you'll actually see there's a little window here. Uh, and what you can do is you can take like a flashlight and you can look inside of there and you can see the water level. Um, and that just you know tells you, I guess, just in general, hey, is the water level up higher than it should be? Is there water in there? All that kind of stuff. If you actually need to test it, uh, what you can do is this will just slide right out. It's within just kind of sealed tight by uh, just pressure around a uh, rubber grommet here. So you can take that out. Uh, and then if you have a sump pump that's on that has a float, uh, what you can do is reach your hand in and you can lift that float up and you can see if the system kicks on. Uh, so what we have here is we have an electric sump pump and then a water driven backup. Uh, so we'll test the electric driven one first. So this one does have a float. So what we'll do is we'll just reach in and pull that up. And you probably can't hear it on there, but there is a sound of a humming and that was the uh, sump pump actually kicking on. Uh, so that's how you would test that one. And for the uh, water driven sump pump then, if you want to test that, is you would actually unplug the electric uh, and then you can just take a bucket full of water uh, and you can pour that inside of the sump crock uh, and just wait and just, you might have to pour a bit of water in there uh, until it gets up high enough that that will kick on the water driven sump pump. Um, there's also a float on that one as well that you could lift up uh, and using the water that can test any sump pump really that's just kind of the fail safe way of doing it it's just filling it until you hear it kick on uh, if you do not hear it kick on then it's time to call a plumber and have them come out and see what's going on and possibly replace your sump pump uh, if you have any questions feel free to give us a call